This is a case of a patient with a history of intravenous drug abuse who presented with progressive back pain and bilateral lower extremity weakness. On the T1 weighted images, we see complete replacement of the normal bone marrow signal of the T12 and L1 vertebral bodies, destruction of the vertebral end plates, and loss of the intervening disc space. On T2 and STIR sequence images, we better define the site of discitis osteomyelitis with extensive edema within the vertebral bodies and fragmentation of the posterior superior aspect of the L1 vertebral body with retropulsion of bone fragments. An epidural collection that is incompletely defined on this non-contrast study and could represent an epidural abscess or inflammatory phlegmon additionally contributes to spinal canal stenosis and compression of the cauda equina. Biopsy was subsequently performed to evaluate for a specific organism in addition to empiric antibiotic therapy. Depending on the degree of destruction and spinal canal compromise, these patients may require extensive surgery to restore stability of the spine and patency of the spinal canal.